What an incredible morning, afternoon, evening, day. Allow me to start these uh, summarizing remarks by echoing our co-chair, the UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed. Together, we certainly are stronger when women rise for all. It is hard to summarize the recommendations we heard today from over 100 leaders, but let me give it a try. One, what we heard was that to reach a new and better normal, leadership itself must be transformed. Equality in leadership is not just about numbers. Meaningful participation, inclusion and influence of women in all their rich diversity must be front and center. This is true across all sectors and ages. Two, change is required at all levels to achieve equal leadership. We need to get rid of laws that treat women differently, replace them with equal ones and implement them. A whole of society approach means we must unstereotype and change norms by pushing for greater and more diverse representation in the media, marketing, academia, the economy, society at large, and of course, politics. Three, the new normal leadership agenda requires accountability. Leadership must be accountable. It must be rooted in data. It must measure change. To build forward, we need to translate international commitments to national action. Post-pandemic societies need women leaders at the front and center of response, recovery and decision-making. These were some of the great points we heard today. We know many more solutions and commitments will come in the national delegation statements, which start right after my speech. On the note of generation equality, I'm thrilled to mention that, as one of the co-leads, women political leaders will make two ambitious and transformative commitments. These will drive legislative and societal change and counter negative perceptions against women leaders in all sectors. We hope to work with many of you on this. Let me close by saying thank you. Thank you to our distinguished speakers and to Amina for co-hosting. Thank you to the teams and to all who helped, pushed and pulled. Thank you to everyone who watched and tweeted the Women Political Leaders Summit 2021. Thank you for what you did today. And not least, thank you for all the things you and we will do tomorrow and beyond.